All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, cool. Uh, here at Duckfeed, I have decided that everyone needs to uh, take a personality test. What? To see what kind of a uh, person they are so we can get the most out of them. Oh, wise. okay. It's a team building kind of thing. Got to make sure, got to make sure that I am playing to my strengths. Yes. Yeah. Incredibly important uh, that we get the most out of you. Yep. And by we, I mean me <laughs> and the patrons. Oh um, my God. I, <laughs> I know this is pursuant to something that we riffed about. I, f- I forget. We've recorded a lot. Uh, <laughs> The the book that comes with the Strengths Finder test, the Strengths Finder 2.0, uh, <laughs> opens up, you know, as it's kind of explaining the philosophy behind the test or whatever, which is basically like, don't try and shore up your weaknesses, play to your strength. It like opens up with an essay about why the movie Rudy sucks. Like Rudy never should have been playing football. He was he was small. He made the team worse. He could have been doing better things. Don't be your team's Rudy. And it's like. I'm pretty attached to the movie Rudy. I think it's really good. It's a good story. Uh, hey, I, hey, dude. I have no attachment to Rudy, and but I also think that's a very weird venue for this guy's blog post. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I just I I it I don't know. I felt like I would have forgotten that digression before we even started. No, so. it, it's it's good. Yeah. Um, so I, I have this uh, here. I've got a, a study carol for you. You remember those? Oh, I love study carols. Me too, man. I, I, I bought a bunch of decommissioned ones. Mm. Um, so go ahead. I've got this uh, thing for you to fill out. It's going to be a bunch of questions like, you know, um, do you consider yourself to be, uh, you know, in, in this scenario, do you grab the piece of cake or do you slice it up and share it with your friends? Things like yeah. that. Well, what, what's, and, uh, what smell well, do you most enjoy? Gasoline or bank customers? <laughs> yeah, exa- exactly. Do, do you enjoy excellent customer service or robbing from your boss? Mm-hmm. Um, so we're going to do some time passing music. Okay. And uh, while you fill out this test. All right. And then I'm going to run it through the computer and see what uh, what your score is. Okay. Um, I'll just I'll put in the usual thing that I put in. And uh, here you go. I got the scan trying here for you, buddy. Thanks. Let me uh, thank you. Let me feed into the computer and let me, oh, looks like you uh, your personality type is you're an M A S K. An M A S K. Yeah, you're you're mad, angry, mm-hmm. screamy, <laughs> and, and, cool. and cool with a K. <laughs> cool. Oh shit! Fuck! I you know I I cut corners. I was trying to get Myers Briggs. Okay. Uh, for this, but I got the Marlo Briggs oh. personality test instead. I'm fine with that. <laughs> On accident. Everybody gets mask and Marlo Briggs. Yes. <laughs> My name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. Welcome to Adder Suffering, an anagram of 15 crab jugs. <laughs> is that true? It sounds yeah. true. It came from Riff, so I'm assuming so. Okay. I trust Riff on anagrams. I trust Riff on Dude, most things. Most things. I don't trust Riff on all things, but I definitely trust him on anagrams. <laughs> I trust him on a lot of things. Yeah. I do trust him for... Well, there are a lot of things out there, though. <laughs> That's true. I bet you it's a shockingly low percentage of things I trust him on, <laughs> like in terms of things. Yeah, yeah. I probably trust Riff on like five percent, five percent of the things. Okay, but like because there's you stuff know. in there like advanced accounting and quantum engineering and right, surgery. right, right. You know. Yeah, but if anything, if there's anything that Riff knows about, it is wordplay and anagrams and stuff like that. So yeah. fifteen crab oh, yeah, jugs, yeah. it is. Yeah, fifteen crab jugs, it is. And today. We're talking about Marlo Briggs mm-hmm. and the mask of death. It is a golden time for wisecracking masks <laughs> in video games. <laughs> you want to well, have an Ooga Booga mask, what other... like a kind of racist witch doctor mask that uh, wisecracks at you. Uh huh. Boy, have we got several games for you. You say you say ma- it's, it is a magic time for masks and games. What else have we played that is that has had the mask besides Crash, Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot a year ago? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm sure we've done a video game adaptation of The Mask with Jim Carrey. Oh, we have not done a video game adaptation of The Mask, my friend. 
oh, we, we got to let's rectify that soon. Yeah, we got to get that in there. Um, I was I mean, if yeah. we didn't have anything, I was going to take us into a digression about the mask because this is mask adjacent. But I mean, if we do if we do an episode about the like uh, an SNES, the mask game, I'll watch that mm-hmm. movie again. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Super Nintendo uh, game. It's a side scroller. Uh-huh, it may surprise course. you to find out by Black Pearl Software. So we can and published by Virgin, of course. Okay. So we can, we can certainly do this at some point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So I will, I will keep my mask powder dry. As yes, uh, as don't, don't the watch case. the mask for fun. <laughs> you can you have to you have to hold yourself. Uh, do son of mask. Okay. As kind yeah. of methadone of mask for a little you, bit. You you have to you have to work your way up. Uh, work your way mm-hmm. up to mask, full mask. Yeah, it, it, it's like a shadow of Mordor. Mm. Like you have to work your way through the son of mask to get up to the mask, and then eventually get to father of mask and grandfather of mask. As a mask of war. Just, <laughs> yeah, work your way up. Yeah. You know? uh, this is. I'm looking to see if anybody has put this into the uh, suggestion box. This is a coal joint. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, no, I brought I th- this. I one. thought that this was a suggestion. No, no, this is uh, this is Cole's uh, Cole's vanity demand. Um, I, I had no idea what this game was. All that I knew was like I was reading a something awful thread about like a Steam sale or whatever, and be- people were saying, "Oh, Marlow Briggs is a dollar because Marlow Briggs is always a dollar. Check it out because it's actually kind of okay." And so I'd, I'd say this is this is pretty you know good for a dollar. Yeah, <laughs> I'd buy mm-hmm. that for a dollar, as RoboCop would I, say. I, I would if I you know if again if time wasn't the only currency, right? You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know. I was honestly just looking for an excuse to see what this was because there was no way you know having paid a dollar for this seven years ago that I was going to fire it up just out of curiosity. It had to be attached to a show. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. Um, have you considered what that dollar would be worth now with inflation? Probably like a dollar twelve or something like that. Let's find out. Yeah. Um, I'm curious. Um, nobody, nobody yeah. suggested this. I'm surprised. This is like a like an infamous, not infamous, but like it is. It is known among people who play weird, obscure games. Yeah, this has the the feeling of like a six or seven out of ten. That's not that bad. Yeah, yeah. That um, has hidden gem appeal, but it for me, it's like because of the the competence of it. Yes. It's not because I feel like, like I am not that hungry for another God of war. And that's what this is. Um, and this is God of war. Uh, it's, it's God of war with a wise cracking mask. <laughs> so imagine Kratos instead of ha- Kratos, uh, instead of having boy, mm-hmm. um, he had a kind of racist mask that told him how cool he was. Yes. Or how sucky and he was <laughs> or how sucky he was depending. Yeah. And he fought everybody with a double headed, double bladed hell scythe. And sometimes he parried missiles. Yes. At people. And that, that's kind of what this feels like. Mm-hmm. No, you just described the entire game that I played in the first half hour or yeah. so. <laughs> there's, there's not a whole lot more to it than that. Yeah. And I felt um, it running out of steam by that point as I was like, as I got to the point in the first level where it was like, and now here's where you shimmy along, uh, along ledges by, you know, by clinging to them. And I was like, oh, okay. So we're getting to the climbing part. You're out of ideas now, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> and it's very quick. Yeah. Uh, the, the, to, me, to me, the redeeming part of this was the uh, beginning story part, which was very funny mm-hmm. uh, to me. James Hong um, plays a good cor- got, uh, uh, corrupt CEO. Yeah. Yeah. James Hong, you yeah. know, uh, do you know, big trouble in little China or the uh, dad from Wayne's World too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cassandra's dad. Um, just really, you know, great actor. Uh, but just the idea of like, I'm bringing my, uh, my smoke jumper boyfriend <laughs> for just a field trip to yep. an archaeological dig. <laughs> um, and then just immediate evil. Like I thought initially, I thought that maybe this was a parody of 50 cent blood in the sand. It, it similar in, energy. And I was worried about saying that because I, I, that I may have just been noticing that they both have a uh, have black protagonist. Yeah. Well, I, I thought we were going to have to try to get the mask back or something initially. Right, Cause we went right. in and checked, you know, checked in with that dude and she tried to quit. And I was like, Oh, like he's going to try to get like, he wants her to be paid, but then it just turns out she gets damseled. Yes. You know, and he and he gets murdered immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, by she's going to shoot him, and she's like, "No, no, use that. <laughs> use the uh, gigantic <laughs> soul caliber double headed death scythe that'll that, bring him back as an immortal warrior." Well, it's hilarious because we haven't seen it yet. Like, it's not no, a, like it's, it's not camera. the establishing shot of this like little tent office or whatever. It is like she's about to shoot him, and he goes, "No, use this very prominent spear that we've not seen before." 
<laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Double headed, double, double scythe. Yeah. <laughs> Um, which sends you into a hell realm where a mask revives you as an eternal warrior and starts, uh, and this is the, the tone of this game mm-hmm. is not funny, but unfortunately lighthearted. I found like, yeah, you, you know, you're like, it's a lot of like, this is the kind of exchange that people on TV tropes probably think are very funny, uh, where, uh, Marlo Briggs is like, it's going to be a bloodbath. And the mask is like, hmm, the gods will be pleased. And yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what we're dealing with here. Right. Right. Uh, so if, if you like that kind of dialogue, mm-hmm. uh, here you go. I, I, I do like the audacity of almost doing it like a, uh, like a green Aesop as well, because you know, early on in the level, you're, you know, walking along the slow mountain path and your, your, your mask guy says, ah, yes, the natural beauty of my kingdom. And you round a corner and you see what this corrupt CEO has done. It's like a huge mining. It just, just basically started like stripping, strip mining the entire place. He's like, we must get revenge for what they have done to my kingdom. It's like, yeah, what? And then the ending, My kingdom. <laughs> and the ending, not to not to jump ahead, but the end with a sequel hook where you go back in time, and yeah. you, you're just like kicking it with the emperor who you know whose ghost is haunting the mask, and it ends with the camera uh, panning out and showing the conquistadors arriving. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> like it's time to suit up. <laughs> we got to um, go deal with some Spaniards. <laughs> I I couldn't handle the um, way initially it constantly switched to cutscene. Yeah. Like at, at at the drop of a hat, like you'd be playing, you'd jump on something, and then it would be like, oh, like a crane is now falling, mm-hmm. and a wrecking ball is going to come hit me, and a tire is going to fly and fly by my shoulder. Mm-hmm. And this is all just going to be done in a non-interactive sense. And then I just get to another flat plane to do beat him up God of War combat. Yeah, revenge it ain't. It's not like putting yeah. you in these dynamic situations and you're controlling it the same the entire time, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a huge bummer. Um, you know, and just like really, I mean, this came out in 2013. Mm-hmm. Um, and boy does it feel like it. Yeah. You know, like this this is of its time <laughs> in a way like I don't know that this will necessarily be missed. Right. This kind of this kind of game and this kind of aesthetic and everything. It's so late. Um, like it's, I mean, yeah. uh, just in terms of like, we're going to make a, uh, we're going to make the Xbox's God of War, which is what this, you know, the, what the attempt was like, this was published by Microsoft. Um, yeah. or now it was published by five Oh five, but like Microsoft game studios helped develop it. Mm-hmm. Um, to do that in 2013, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> they had a chance yeah <laughs> like yeah. that's a that's a long time to say here's our entry in the care in the shallow character action beat em up genre yeah, the actually up. yeah because like genre. apparently dante's inferno didn't keep like it didn't take yeah so yeah it just has, has a bad shelf life <laughs> dante's inferno yeah um yeah I, I i wish i had more to talk about the game like the cutscenes and stuff are kind of wild but it's all wisecracking mm-hmm like it is, it is a wisecracking mask that speaks English, uh, talking about the fun of violence, and then you talking about getting revenge for your girlfriend. Yes, you know, in a B movie kind of way. That again, I can imagine mm-hmm. the uh, the enjoyability of this more than I can feel it. It's the kind of uh, it's the kind of game that I'm happy exists, right? Uh, to a certain degree, because like I want there to be B games. Uh, you know, and it feels like you never, I never identify them in the time, you know, mm. like the budget entry that just kind of lives off in obscurity and maybe some of them bubble up and, and become like an EDF. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even that though, like I end up finding the curve that we judge B games on a little bit frustrating sometimes. Yeah. You get a Mr. Mosquito you know, like, where like, it's not that fun, but it's remembered for its novelty kind of stuff. Yeah. Or an EDF. Yeah. Which is not that fun, but rem- <laughs> or, you know, remembered for its its novelty. And then yeah. they made I 20 identical games about of it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it just it's it's fine. Yeah. It's 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 fine. Like it it is a this feels like a video game they'd be playing in CIS or CSI. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, know? you mean NCIS? Yeah. Yes. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um you know, maybe just we like should show, have multiple like multiple primetime shows that are all uh anagrams that share the same letters. <laughs> Yeah, just letters. Yeah, it's just, it's so dumb. There's tonight, a new one coming out in fall as well. Tonight, tonight on CBS, it is S I C N S I C N B S 
victim squad. <laughs> uh, victim fight yeah um yeah there's there's just there's something that about this that feels very generic to me that i had a really hard time with even mm-hmm. though i do like the idea of there being a uh, person of color as the lead mm-hmm. and i like james hong's performance yeah as being deliciously evil uh our our dude does not seem at all perturbed by the fact that he died or that he is denied eternal rest by being brought back as a spirit warrior <laughs> Or, or that his girlfriend's been kidnapped. Like, yeah. it, it's mostly vengeance. Right. At this point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, did you did you do the turret minigame with the with the helicopters? No. Yeah, there's a turret. I tapped you can... out before that. I was yeah. a little bit behind. Yeah. There's a, there's yeah. a, there, there's a turret minigame. That, like, that also reminded me of 50 Cent. Um, because you just, your guy hates helicopters. And you get on a turret. And you've got a machine gun. And you shoot down probably 50 of them over the course of this little mm. game that you do. Yeah. I thought, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think about what would I do if I was godly rich? Right. You know, okay. not, not just like, you know, comfortable forever rich, but like had the money to do whatever I wanted. And I think that probably like the most attractive version of that particular kind of hell and, you know, moral turpitude that you would have to have to get to that point is unlimited access to helicopters. Sure. Yeah. You know, putting aside the, you always have to put the like, oh, I wouldn't solve, you know, I wouldn't fix the water in Flint. Like, <laughs> right. All that stuff's taken care of, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, unlimited helicopters is your move? Unlimited helicopters, I think. I, I, I like helicopters a lot. What would you do with these helicopters, Cole? Uh, probably fly from point A to point B and in the middle, uh, stay still <laughs> while up in the air, uh, because that's what do helicopters you only use one do. one of them at a time? In this world, <laughs> is a helicopter only good for one flight? Are they disposable Kodak helicopters? Uh, it's never the same once a helicopter is broken in. You know, yeah. just, it's, it's just a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like fresh copter. <laughs> oh man just uh just something about chinook uh <laughs> i gotta buy this copter in tennessee with the age of consent of the <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm a libertarian of course i'd be a helicopter libertarian <laughs> yeah. this, this, this my underage helicopter doesn't have seat belts <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no it's just uh, again godly rich some people when they get enough money they they make it so uh i'm gonna wear a fresh pair of socks every day okay me yeah you know just disposable helicopters just leave them by the side of the road i don't care yeah you want a grand theft auto life Mm -hmm. (laughs) you know they say like grand theft auto life grand theft auto wife you know (laughs) um yeah 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 Yeah. like i I think like helicopters are funny just the idea, you know, the like the funniest way to die is to walk into the tail rotor of a helicopter, I think. Sure. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, and, you know, choppers, uh, sometimes called Hueys. They have a lot of fun nicknames. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I, I you know, I've got, you turned me around on this. And, and <laughs> you never thought about helicopters that much. Yeah. They also seem like they'd be easy. <laughs> I know uh, that's not true, but <laughs> it just feels like something I could fly. Bar- Barney know? Gumble. That's how, like, yeah. that's how I got sober was by doing. Bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If Barney Gumble can do it. I can do anything Barney Gumble can do. Yeah. Except saying he's got um, a voice of an angel, but. He does have a voice of an angel. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> helicopters. The only, my only problem with helicopters is they can't go underwater yet. Yeah. Well, they will get water copters. Mm-hmm. I think eventually. Yeah. Um, what would I do if I had that kind of money? You know, what frivolous thing? Yeah. What frivolous what thing? Do? Again, you solve the problems. There's nothing. You, you are the rare person who has resources, but does not have people that you can help. Uh, with yes. them, so <laughs> yeah, something the non-existent so, something, uh, person that I am. Something to do again. You've got helicopter money. You have disposable helicopter money. Yeah, interesting. Um, maybe one man submersibles, the helicopters of the sea. <laughs> you know. Wait a minute. You, you just took my <laughs> idea about helicopters that go underwater. <laughs> Well, mine can go up in the air as well. Like uh, eventually they'll be able to fly. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Eventually. You know. It's kind of like how every, uh, just every living thing eventually evolves into crabs, you know? Yeah. Then just that kind of thing. Helicopters and submersibles are always going to, uh, are always going to, uh, come together. Yeah. It's a beautiful evolutionary step. Yeah. Huh. Um, yeah. 
I, I, I actually think I would just recreate things from my youth. Oh yeah. Like the guys who during the pandemic, like turned their basement into a video store. Oh, I saw that. Like, yeah. I would just do shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like turn my basement into a video store, turn my basement into an arcade, you know, that's like literally all I would do. Yeah. Turn my, turn another basement into a comic store. You know, I would just make fake retail spaces that looked like things that reminded me when I was young. Fuck fake retail spaces. Like, You've got helicopter money. Go back to your hometown um, and then just, you know, using photos and archival footage, bulldoze whatever was built up there and, re- and rebuild the stuff that was there. I miss the mall. I miss the mall. Yeah. It, it was Kingsgate Mall in Mansfield, Ohio, uh, yeah. where we would go to Laser Arcade and they had a Buckeye Bakery and a coin store. Uh, and a sports yeah. memorabilia store and a an organ uh, store uh, and a mm. like an Ohio lottery kiosk where we go buy scratchers uh, to uh, to play in the food court. Uh, it's a mm-hmm. Kroger now, uh, but not for long because I'm going to go in there and push all of the food out. <laughs> I'm going to crash and several it, helicopters into it yeah. until the property values are low enough for me to buy it. Yeah, I'm going to go in. I'm going to bring all of that stuff back. Laser Arcade's going to be there uh, with its avalanche machine in the back or no aftershock machine in the back and the ski ball at the right. Yeah, mm-hmm. it would be I would love to bring uh, my old comic book shop guy, Scott Lore. Mm-hmm. who started legends and lower comic books and just forcibly bring him out of retirement. <laughs> like, I don't care where you live or what you're doing. I have money now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know, and it's, you know, if you have that kind of money, it's not just carrot, right? Like you may just see yeah, yeah. some people, you know, they're, they're, they're not sufficient. You know, they're, they're, they're happy without helicopter money. What you have to do uh, say, Hey, I'll, I will pay you money, but also I will use all of my resources to make life unbearable for you until you acquiesce to me. <laughs> we're, we're talking about becoming the villain from beta test. Yes, we are. We just do broad daylight kidnapping to become a God. Uh huh. Um, and I'm saying that I would. Yes. Uh, again, after all the problems are solved, mm-hmm. I need to start creating some problems. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta keep busy. Point, eventually people are going to start trying to become millionaires or yeah. to stop my helicopter slavery business. <laughs> <laughs> um, where I slave, enslave people to reenact things from my youth. Mm-hmm. Be the barber who rubbed his balls on the back of my hand. <laughs> Do it, slave. Uh, <laughs> I will blacken the, the sky. I will blacken the sky with my choppers. <laughs> yep. I must. I must have everything else. This this middle school is now a fun fair twenty four seven. In case I happen to show up. Yeah. Um, I would like I would like to buy my hometown and just recreate it as my youth. Oh yeah, yeah. Like the whole thing. Mm-hmm. You know what? What I'm looking for is a it's a good life situation, like the Twilight Zone. Right, right. I want to. I want the gig that kid had. <laughs> you know, <laughs> being the magic autocrat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I want to be a magic autocrat in my hometown where I can just relive, you know, parts of my childhood. Except now I can buy as many magic cards as I want. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yep. So, <laughs> like, but they have to be from people. You know, who are in a WandaVision situation. Yes. Like, and they have to be unable to escape. And they have to not be yeah. aware of their plight. <laughs> yeah. Imagine the dream, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I just, I, just, I, I, I want a hair. I need a haircut. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go to a great clubs. I'm going to go to the famous hair that was next to the video game exchange. I'm going to sit on the horsey and I'm going to watch the Tiny Toons uh, music video mm-hmm. special with the They Might Be Giant songs while they cut my hair and I eat a lollipop. Famous hair? Famous hair. It's <laughs> <laughs> a funny name for a thing. It is. Yeah. Um, yeah, buying my hometown. Never thought about it. I, I have, did find when I was on uh, Zillow sorting from low to high, which is a fun thing mm-hmm. to do in my hometown and found several like creepy haunted buildings that are now abandoned creepy lots mm-hmm. that I could buy for like frighteningly affordable amounts if I wanted to. Yeah. You know, like this, this, like, where the, the haunted, like the, the definitely closed down veterinarian from the seventies, mm-hmm. uh, was like, is now a $3,000 mud lot that I could own, <laughs> you know? It's like a fun feeling. Just if you just want to have a place to do some dumping. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind having just a little patch. Yeah. You know, just to, to do some dumping or to like yeah. you know, if I'm ever staying in my hometown, I can like pitch a tent. Yeah. It's there. my it's my you lot. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, no, get there's... haunted by some pet hamsters. Yeah, there's no <laughs> there's no sewers. <laughs> there's no yeah. power. There's no gods. Yeah. I black in the sky with to... my helicopters. I'll make everything. I'll make everything with hemp. Yeah. I'm a god. I'm a billionaire god now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like Woody Harrelson. 
I, the, just uh, like doing that is a doing that search is a good way to find uh, a lot of mysterious posts that are sticking out of uh, cracked asphalt uh, with yeah. chains that go to nowhere. Man, have you have you been following uh, this trend that, uh, on Twitter of people on like TikTok finding hidden rooms and basements <laughs> and shit what? they didn't know they had? No, I haven't. Okay, uh, no, a bunch I of saw those w- bubble up to the top. It's cool. I so I saw one. It was a woman in uh, New York who felt like a weird breeze from behind her mm-hmm. mirror. And, and there's a room back there. Yeah, and she was like, "Oh, I, I took the mirror down. It wasn't just a room. It was an entirely. Uh, it was an entire other apartment that was like under construction." Yes. Yes. And that's do, that's just so cool. Yeah. Uh, there's also a woman who found a basement under the carpeting in her kitchen. Holy shit! Um, like pulled up the thing, and there's like furniture down there and stuff, and it's like super scary. And I'm like, man, that is like the scariest I, thing. I love that so much. That is so yeah. good. Yeah. Oh uh, my. My buddy Derek is remodeling his house and he found uh, in the ceiling this like ancient, like weird wrought iron vent. <laughs> that's like very like beautiful, like, you know, or there's tons of artistry, in uh-huh. it, but it had been like papered over. Ooh. You know, he also found a door out to his porch that had been like walled up. Nice. So like he had a, a separate way to get to his porch that they just decided to like <laughs> Montiato. No, no, no options, please. Board it up. Yeah, it's just very like I love that shit. Yeah, I mean, like I mean, that's, hidden space. Uh, I, my sense is that's a common dream. I mean, I've I've had that. You've oh, had yeah. that dream, right? Where there's a door oh, that yeah. goes in your 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 apartment is secretly bigger than you uh, than you thought it was, or mm-hmm. you know, every house you lived in as a child is you know connected to end to end, that kind of thing, like a Bor- Borges mm-hmm. kind of deal. Yeah, that is uh that feels good. Yes. I like that scariness. Yeah. Well, I, like that's exactly what I thought of when that woman found it was an annoying TikTok because it was like in 10 parts with a lot of buildup when it could have just been, hey, you'll never guess what I found behind this mirror. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, TikToks are annoying. Well, yeah. Uh, just, um, not to be like an old man, but. And, 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 except when they're fucking hilarious. But, you know, just. So, sometimes they're funny, but it is just like sifting through them. Yeah. yeah. I just came up with a brilliant idea. Okay. Um, are you Are you ready for it? I'm ready. We both become billionaires. Okay. Okay. Because we'll take a lot one. of resources for this idea. And we need a lot of other people with disposable income for this to work. Okay. But we create a business where demented billionaires who are like us hire us to build a house, but we build it full of secrets for them. Oh. And they don't get to see it until they move in. Puzzle There's... house. <laughs> Puzzle house. That is that is Puzzle really house. good. Like, Oh man! We're gonna build you a Jindosh mansion, and you don't get to know what it is until you live in it. Mm-hmm. You get no input. Like, like there will be secrets s- here. You will. Yeah. Your kids will discover shit. You you can set the you can set parameters. Okay, you can say yeah. no like, spikes. For, like, <laughs> for, <No> spikes. <laughs> for for my <laughs> for my family, like I'm going to need you know three bedrooms, a bonus room for an office. You know, so, so, you know, just lay out like the basics of what you need. This needs to be like accessible or whatever, right? You get those. No other input. Uh, they arrive. They're blindfolded, mm-hmm. and then we do like the extreme home makeover uh, bus reveal, mm-hmm. right? And the yep. it pulls away and they walk in and the game begins. <laughs> and right before we do this, we invent a little concept I like to call the Murphy toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so Murph, Mur, Mur, Murphitizing a toilet seems like you're playing with gasoline because there are two things in there that will ruin most surfaces, namely Should water most. and shit. <laughs> So. Yeah. <laughs> the um well yeah, but that therein lies the game. <laughs> <laughs> you need stakes is is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Like if you could just go to the bathroom normally, it's not very much of an adventure house, you know? <laughs> so you walk in, no toilets. Uh no but, toilets. <laughs> but there is a uh the, the, there is a small there's a there's a small note. It's in a cipher. Um mm-hmm. and you have to look around the house for clues. Mist house. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. D- you know, to find the right wall that you pull down to be a M- Murphy toilet. And mm-hmm. it wouldn't have to create a huge mess because you could just leave it down. You know? No, this when, is a wandering Murphy toilet. Like when you, like it, uh, oh. <laughs> when you, uh, w- w- so you, you push it back into the wall like a drawer. Uh, it seals, gets like an airtight yep. seal. Um, and then uh, that cannot be used again uh, because the toilet Ooh. shows up elsewhere. 
Okay. Or it's only usable once. Like it dissolves. Oh. It's made of paper or something. Yeah. I mean, we, like we can cheap out on this. We can make it basically like those uh, little razor okay. slots in bathrooms mm-hmm. where you just put the ra- you just put your your used safety razors into the into the hollow in the mm-hmm. wall like we can just have people mm-hmm. leaving their leaving their business in you know in between studs in the wall right no one would know right yeah. <laughs> no one like, would know yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it'd be, be wonderful mm-hmm. you know and then like uh you know, so you have to find the wandering uh, Murphy toilet or we invent the Murphy toilet that comes to you, like the Alexa, where it just anticipates when you need to use the bathroom through like oh. a bio counter Apple watch and every wall is a Murphy toilet. So like you're just staying there talking to a, a friend or whatever. And then a toilet in the wall just goes yep. and it knows that one of you needs to use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> is, yeah, is, like, is this, well, is this mine me. or is this yours? Which one is this? Can I have the room? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I could go. Yeah. You guess. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, you're the one making this awkward okay the house gave me a toilet yeah the house is very generous you're the one who is a miser yeah you know yeah God, so, i love puzzle house just a very insistent you know just watching legends of the hidden temple for ad, for adaptation decay yes. just made me just made me realize you know like the, the the things that would make me happiest are just secret passages you know yeah yeah, yeah. Or like there are th- there are rooms in my house or my dream house that I would use so infrequently that I wouldn't mind an obstacle course in front of them, mm-hmm. you know, or like something like that. Like I have to like climb an aggro crag in order to get up to the attic. Yeah. That wouldn't feel so bad. That well, feels I, appropriate. I basically have to climb an aggro crag to get into my attic. <laughs> so. Yeah. And that's how attics are anyway. You may as well make it exciting. Yeah. You might as well add some gack, <laughs> you know. <laughs> do it. Well, the Murphy toilet recycles all of the product into uh in, into inert gack to be used yeah, on I, the agro crag to yeah. get into the attic. Food, food safe gack, human mm-hmm. grade USDA gack. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's fit for circus By animals. So it's fine. Humans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By humans for humans. Yeah. yeah. There, there, there was a house I was looking at that would have been, you know, it was an older house. Uh, it, and just that that ultimately ended up scotching the deal a because the people who uh were uh, the previous is, is, hold up a second okay is scotching the deal racist uh, I, it's scotch my, my, is my it la- Sc- scottish <laughs> uh scotch verb my last name is ross so i can own it um no just it's, it doesn't say like antiquated scott hmm. scott's people let me know i say scotched a lot just you know, to I, say well, decisively, I've never put heard an end to. No, oh, no, weird. No, and I, I talk to you more than anybody. I more suppose than your family or your friends. <laughs> um, <True>. Okay, <laughs> like, All right. yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> anyway, but do you, but you know, you deal. know what I, you know what I mean when I say that, though, right? Well, I do now. Okay. Like I'd never heard it before. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. No, no. What ended up, uh, it was, it was old. It would have needed repairs. Uh, you, when you looked up in the attic, uh, like the very spacious, you know, like spooky attic, when you looked up, uh, where the eaves met, you would see daylight and it's like, ah, this is mm. too much. This is too much house for me. Uh, and it had yeah. like a, like a really spooky, like half height basement that was like unfinished Ooh. to the point where like, <laughs> I, I think when it rained, there would be a river in it. You know, yeah, like just that and kind of swamp pool. Oh, oh <laughs> swamp pool there. And also there was a, there was a welded shut cistern out back. And I was like, there's probably some cool stuff in that cistern. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> Basically, it would have <laughs> been got some it would have been a way for me to things. buy some very expensive problems when I was unable to deal with them. Um, also, yeah. the previous owners had a had a um, uh, stripped all of the uh, electronics out of the house. So there was, no, mm. <laughs> there were like the, uh, I would have had to provide an air conditioner and a furnace, uh, for a two story house. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, it's a very good idea that I didn't buy that house, but if there was going to be in this town, ta- in this town, a puzzle house, that would have been the one. Uh, yeah. This may exist. I wonder if anyone's like listening and they're gonna be like, yeah, you fucking idiots. I'll oh, like when we talked, when we gotta... talked about grown up, uh, like playgrounds or jungle gyms, you know, like, oh, there's this cool place in Missouri where you can just do that. Yeah. 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 I wonder. Uh, I wonder. Yeah. Because it, it feels like there there could actually be this mm-hmm. as a thing. Well, I mean, especially um, as like, you know, every billionaire is a fucking nerd now, you know, or nerds yeah. become billionaires. So like, you know, we're, we're not the first people with our own particular neuroses or who grew up watching Webster or whatever, 
who have yeah. uh, an affinity for mansions with secret passageways. You know, th- this is not the first time that's happened. No. Yeah. And and this this to me is a positive way that all the billionaires can be dorks as opposed to like the 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 fact that like the Amazon project for finding their astroturf people is called like Project Veritas. Jesus. Uh, and Elon Musk tweeting that music makes his heart sing. Blech. You know, shit like that, which is like you fucking I want to pants you so bad, you fucking yeah. apartheid nerd. Mm-hmm. But like you're fifty, fuck off. Yeah. You know, it's stop tweeting sucks, anime cat girl memes. You yeah, fucking like you're you're not good at this, and it's it's very sad and pathetic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's no good. No, yeah, no good. If I can't blacken the sky with helicopters, I at least want Puzzle House. So yeah, give us one of those things. Mm-hmm. Um, real quick before we leave, okay. Did you notice that the game fact for this was the game fact of the month in two thousand three? No, I didn't. Or game... Game fact of the month, October 23, by Dom's Ninja. Award-winning <laughs> fact. The first time we run into these somehow. Uh, you know what? I've seen, I've seen like tags applied to some of the facts. I've never seen a fact of the month winner. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. You know? So go Dom's. Yeah, good on you, Dom's. Ending your, uh, ending your fact with a TV on the radio quote. Maybe he just puts this in all of his thing, because he also got it for December 2019 for his Blasphemous fact. Oh. And maybe or, he's just that good, or maybe this is just part of his SIG. Oh, maybe this is self-applied. But, like, the other ones are, like, you know, user's choice. Like, this is the most active. Yeah. Like, I've seen these tags before. But that's this really... Guy is a, this guy's a god. That's, I mean, just the, the idea that you could self, self-apply self one of those is really cheap to me. So... Yeah. He's doing well. Yeah. Like, a lot of these are facts of the year. This is truly one of the best fact people that we've ever seen yeah it's a good fact it's well formatted i yeah, don't i don't necessarily job, know no, need to know how to you get the abject suffering star <laughs> like when, yeah. when we see <laughs> yeah. somebody who's received a lot of rewards let's just pile on more rewards yep 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 congrats yeah um yeah most recommended highest rated mm-hmm. this guy's great master um, of craft i want to see his reviews uh, one second here <laughs> Let's see if he has Build any outside house. Build us a puzzle house for fuck's sake. No, I want to be more I want to be more generous than that. Please, we would appreciate Ooh. a puzzle house. What? Three and a half stars for Rocket Slime. Mm? Pass. No. No. Um What should people do if they like the show? Well, if they like the show, they can support us on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. Get two extra episodes per month. Uh, at five dollars and at ten dollars get access to the hundred plus bonus episodes oh yeah oh yeah um yeah and so support us leave ratings reviews tell your friends mm-hmm. it's very appreciated it is um yeah we would like it if you did that we um i need to use the bathroom so uh yeah. i gotta go use my murphy toilet <laughs> what uh what can they do until next time cole well as our friend on twitter bobby c jameson always says until next time have a great summer Thank you.